The full moon, a sickly yellow orb, hung low in the inky sky, casting long, twisted shadows across Mulberryville, Tennessee. The quaint town, usually a tapestry of friendly hellos and gossip on porches, was shrouded in an unsettling silence. The news, a whisper at first, had spread like wildfire. Michael Dubray was gone. Dubray, a name that sent shivers down spines, had been the town's darkest secret for years. A monster disguised as a quiet boy, he'd unleashed a reign of terror before his capture. The details were gruesome, butchered bodies, missing persons, a chilling trail of madness. The Blackwood Sanitarium, a fortress of steel and despair, was supposed to hold him, but tonight, the steel was bent, the bars lay scattered like broken toys. Dubray, a gaunt figure with eyes that mirrored a stormy sea, roamed the deserted streets. His mind, a fractured kaleidoscope, bombarded him with a cacophony of voices. One, smooth and seductive, urged him to cleanse. The other, a terrified whimper, begged him to stop. He saw things no one else did, grotesque figures dancing in the shadows, faces contorted in silent screams. He stumbled upon Mrs. Henderson, her poodle yipping nervously at her heels. The sweet scent of lavender cookies, a memory from a life long gone, tugged at Dubray. But the voices grew louder, the visions more vivid. The poodle transformed into a snarling beast, Mrs. Henderson a skeletal figure draped in funeral shrouds. A primal scream ripped from Dubray's throat. Before Mrs. Henderson could react, a glint of metal flashed in the moonlight. Her scream, mercifully brief, was swallowed by the night. The poodle, freed from its leash, bolted, its frantic barks echoing through the empty streets. Sheriff Franklin, a gruff man with a weathered face, gripped the phone tighter. The poodle's frantic arrival at the Miller farm had confirmed their worst fears. Dubray was loose. Fear, a cold serpent, coiled around Franklin's heart. With only a handful of deputies and outdated weapons, they were woefully unprepared for the monster that stalked their town. Meanwhile, Dubray, his clothes stained crimson, felt a flicker of satisfaction, the voices momentarily sated, whispered promises of more. He pressed on, a dark specter in the sleepy town, leaving a trail of terror in his wake. Mulberryville, once a haven of peace, was now a hunting ground. The full moon, a silent witness, cast its eerie light upon the desperate search for a monster. A battle not just against a killer, but against the demons that raged within him. 